because you're right. On a big, huge pair of titties, a little sad what? couple of drips is going to be worthless. What? What? You got to hose those down. But if you're going well, for honestly, like, you know, from what I found with personal experience, is the best way to keep everybody happy is it goes in, you're done. She goes. It goes out. She comes back. Everybody's fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. What are you fucking around? Hey, look, hardware sex store? Sex is simple. The dick gets hard. The dick gets soft. It goes in. It comes out. The dick gets hard again. It goes in. It's out. And that's sex. There's a baby. <laughs> you raise a family. God damn it. You put food on the goddamn table. <laughs> so I'll tell you what happens. You meet a liar. A liar that tricks you into getting naked with her. You go in. You go out. Next thing you eat a sandwich. Then you've been married seven years. <laughs> and you know, you're up late night. You're watching Honeymooners reruns because they're showing I'm still on you give night. you give a loser brother a job he steals money from you you know so yeah I guess it is context the way you put the cum <laughs> came across a room and hit a painting is what uh, Tyler and Canada I think says. that's just and something that's from just the like, Mr Bean movie I think that's probably toward <laughs> Johnny English just one one of those fucking what's his name <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 oh. what's that shit his name <laughs> Rowan Atkinson <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Mr. Bean, <laughs> how who could come all the way across this yeah. room? I love when people are like, oh, "British humor is so sophisticated." <laughs> it's a mentally retarded man that doesn't speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Google to you. It's a mute invalid that uh, fucks yeah. things up. You guys took Mr. Magoo and just made it so he couldn't talk. There's got to be girls who are actually allergic to like. I wonder if like oh, if you could like be allergic, skin, but skin so sensitive that if it hits your skin, it leaves. Oh, like you got a like mark. alien blood. I, oh <laughs> yeah, like yeah. when you open it up, it's all acidic. You came on me. Oh. <laughs> that would rule. <laughs> that would rule. That's like what seventh grade boys think, dude. Dude, if I could come acid, that's sick. I mean, I think that now. I want huge balls and I want to come acid. Oh wow, what a bad the bad boy. Hell yeah, dude. Dude. Bad boy of 140 foot yacht, you know? Dude, money clip. Yeah. <laughs> Slap bracelet. That's something I can't have now, a money no, clip. No. There's no way I can afford a money clip. You have to wait till you come acid. Yeah. Somebody said I look like gay John from The Simpsons, which is. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's John, your but... only understanding of who John Waters is. Yeah, it's hilarious. That is it, but yeah. that's honestly how I know who John Waters is. <laughs> so I get it. That's not true. Yeah. I mean. John... That's how you found John Waters? Yeah, was through The Simpsons. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, then I then I realized he was based on the act. It's like from the other stuff I saw, but that was like the first he's time. Not based on, he was he's based guest, off he's guest who? starring. I mean, I'm saying like no, John Waters. I realized the stuff he was in, and other stuff from The Simpsons. But what do you think John Waters was? He's in? like a fashion guy, right? No, what yeah. is he? He's a director. No, I didn't filmmaker. Know that. I just knew him from The Simpsons, dude. I just admitted I only knew him from The Simpsons, and you're acting like I'm. You're blown away. I think it's just weird. You don't know who he is. I don't watch. That his, surprises me. What films does he? Uh, he hairspray, did. Yeah, Cry hairspray. Baby. The original Crybaby. Pink flamingos. Pink flamingos was the famous. That's the where they got the tranny guy to take a shit and mm -hmm. then like eat it or eat real dog shit or something. Wait, what? Yeah. Divine. You've never heard of this stuff? No. Oh, you should check out John Waters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you like pocket pussy videos, you like. <laughs> yeah, that's we're also mesmerized. Uh, I mean, if you're getting lost in that, I mean, you might as well get lost. Dude, in we it. all were. This entire studio. You never was... saw Crybaby with Johnny Depp? No. Really? Yeah. That seems weird. I don't know, dude. Is, I, are, I was a latchkey kid that only, like, I had access to my own TV, so I, I didn't everybody show me cool movies. Black Lou, John Waters? No idea. I mean, he was in the... He was in like the Jackass movies and stuff. Yeah. This is so funny. That I, I knew him from The Simpsons. I opened this with like, can you believe someone would only know John Waters from The Simpsons? And I guess that's pretty much everyone's experience. <laughs> yeah. It's very rare to be allergic to sperm. Common symptoms are itching, burning, or <laughs> swelling within a few minutes to an hour after contact with semen. However, if you develop a rash or an itchiness after intercourse, it's very unlikely to be from a sperm allergy, also known as human sen seminal plasma hypersensitivity. It's like a nebbish Jewish guy that goes into anaphylactic shock every time he comes in his pants. Yeah, he goes, He's like, oh boy, it's happening again. Guys, <laughs> someone get a pen. Get my pen and jam it into my heart. Oh boy, oh no. <laughs> I saw a right lady. My hog. <laughs> Guys, my windpipe is closing because I just threw a bunch of cum in my shorts. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking... Have you ever had a chick complain about cum ever? Uh, like, yeah, don't cum. Oh, well, that's yeah. that's the worst thing to say. It is the worst thing. It's going know. to happen, though. I'm the Zimini right now. It is funny getting yeah, you older, go, though. I didn't, actually... and then 20 minutes later, you're like, now I did. You know? <laughs> you know. I know the you truth. know. <laughs>
put on, do you have to put on uh, high rubber gloves like you're handling fucking plutonium? <laughs> <laughs> he puts on a thing. He goes, let me put the welder's mask down when he comes. His what wa- happens? Did you guys try to have, do you have kids? Yeah, we got three kids, man. So it doesn't burn her inside the gas. Are they fucked up? Are they like no, just very angry? They're <laughs> <laughs> all heated. Yeah, They're yeah. bright red. <laughs> One day I'll burn this world. <laughs> I'll burn it to the ground. Your kids are half you, half <laughs> allergy. <laughs> Do you know what it's like? Yeah. Do you know what it's like to walk around hating yourself? Yeah. Every day's a new nightmare. <laughs> the sun hurts. <laughs> the cold hurts. I was just an abuse and ex monster. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how I was born? Yeah. <laughs> My mother was allergic to cum. We're moving in. We're moving in. You guys are doing Moon Tower this year, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, is Fleshlight sponsoring it again? Mm, I don't think so. No. Wow. They did a couple years ago. Yeah. You were there that yeah, year, Yeah, right? I used the Fleshlight. I did. Uh, I was. I have a thing about like throwing shit away if it costs money. Did I tell you I tried to bring it through the airport and I thought like, oh, they got to deal with this all the time. And they pulled me aside and there was like seven TSA agents and like a manager and they disassembled it and like fingered it in front of everyone. And, like, humiliated me. Did you? When they fingered it in front of you, did you react? Did you go? <laughs> Ooh, gentle. They're like, we gotta check for wires. Tight. Make yeah. sure it's not a bomb. You go, baby, baby. It likes it softer. Yeah. Easy. That flower didn't bloom yet, baby. Well, who's like, hiding a bomb in a pocket, pussy? I mean, it's someone that's committed. It'd be to, fucking genius, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, what's great? That's it's it. the only thing worse than that is hiding a bomb inside of a fake bomb. <laughs> yeah, instead go. of a replica you're bomb. Just, you're you're like, that no bomb. one's gonna check inside the fake bomb. <laughs> they're, they're, they leave room for because some of these fake ones. As you pump in your dick, uh, it activates the thing that makes it talk to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, uh, so a torsoless ass and pussy can go. Yeah. Mm, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, it's like the way. Can we bring up the video of how the they guy? They should sells make it? an Alexa that's got the flashlight on the bottom. Yeah, Alexa, yeah. download uh, Smashing Pumpkins yeah. and let me. Fuck Alexa's that sweet already a pussy. whore enough name. Ale- yeah. Alexa, less teeth, more hand. <laughs> hey Alexa, uh, I heard. Yeah, Alexa's definitely the name of a girl that blows a Circle K manager. <laughs> hey Alexa, here she is. Oh, this is the video. This is where this guy sells it. You're gonna hear this again on Thursday, but yeah. it's, it's goes worth. a different direction. Ooh. Listen to that bass thump on that. Uh, it's for two twelves in the back. To fuck the naughtiest little nympho that's ever talked dirty to you. <laughs> Introducing the Dirty Talk series of Fuck Me Silly Masturbators. <laughs> the first interactive fuck friends oh, from like Pipe Dream that. Toys. That's the fucking meringue. That's the meringue of sex toys. <laughs> it's all there. With a super sexy voice and powerful vibrations for an unforgettable sensory overload. Please fuck me until you come. Ooh, I love your big cock, baby. It's my favorite one. Squeeze my tits, baby. That feels so good. Squeeze my thigh tits. Ooh, my tight little ass is so wet waiting for you. How's your ass get wet? You Who's lying these things? It's always guys that listen wait, to too wait, many podcasts. The... It's, a, well, it's, a, it's also guys like... Technology. Oh, here it is. Your hot cock delivery simultaneously <laughs> triggers both the powerful internal vibrations and the loud, sexy, super dirty talk. <laughs> Nick, for as long as you keep pounding. Nicholas, your hot cock delivery can make that happen. <laughs> if you bring enough hot cock delivery, you can really rattle it. Could you imagine like, how you feel? Like, just fuck animals. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I would have more respect for you if you just had a dog that you fucked in your apartment. <laughs> Dude, just as Shelby that you just rail. Do you know yeah, what yeah. the bummer would be if you fucking shove your cock in that and your dick doesn't reach the button? Dude, <laughs> How much that would fucking hurt you? Yeah, you're like, yeah. I'm giving it up. You got it against the wall and you're just fucking taking running starts at it. Oh, and finally oh. she goes, she goes, ooh, but it doesn't play the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, you're yeah. like, fuck! Yeah. 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 I have to go to sleep soon. <laughs> <laughs> I have Entering work in the morning. Sleep mode. <laughs> goes, I, I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> Can you make the voice like a bored wife who's just like, oh, yes. baby, I can't take anymore. <laughs> she goes, hey, did you this send in? This is so good. Did you send in the cable bill? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the reason we bring this you up. Gotta, I forgot to tell you, you got to drive the girls to school tomorrow because <sighs> I have a thing in the morning. <sighs> More. <laughs> What about some hot cock? 
<laughs> no, there's, <laughs> shit. there's a dog you can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. There's been so oh, many times dude. in my life I thought I had like a good premise for a joke or a good thing I was pointing out. Like, look how stupid this thing is. And yeah. It's just I've completely misread or misremembered like a situation. I used to do a bit about the movie Homeward Bound. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, so these like uh, this family moves and they leave their pets behind and then the pets have to find them. It's like, yeah, who would forget their pets while moving, <laughs> especially the talking one? And it took like years of doing that on stage before someone was like, yeah, you know, uh. That's not what happens in Homeward Bound. They just go on vacation and the pets think they're gone. And I was like, oh. Fuck. Yeah, that makes way more sense. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, I just the, the animals can't. are dumb. Yeah. Shout out Chance. Shout out Shadow. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, Chance. We out here. <laughs> shout, out, <laughs> shout out that Korean <laughs> film crew that made it that got rid of about no, fucking 30 that was, kittens. That was my own no, Otis. 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 Oh. Now who's wrong? That man. disturbed me. That was <laughs> fucked up. Shit. No, I'm sorry. You know what? I just want to apologize to Homeward Bound, the yeah. entire cast and crew, right. Michael J. Fox. How about N Word Bound and it's dogs and cats that can speak, but only the N Word? <laughs> yeah, there's racist <laughs> animals. And the family's like, we got to get away from these pets. These dogs are ruining. Ruin. I don't know why we bought them from that old Asian man from, from the from store. These fucking dogs. Because that golden retriever is full of hate. She's no, pure your name hate. is Shadow. Yeah, Shadow. Yeah, yeah, and the other one's Chance the dog. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, I'll tell you, Chance. All right. All right. Yeah, we got it. All we right, came back with the music. Fuck you. you know? <laughs> take some swings. Take some misses. I'm out here. Jacob still loves you. Yo, Jake. What up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Well, who is this? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at Chance. Dog's um, dead, dude. What dog? Dog's been dead for years. <laughs> Stop it. That dog fucking died a horrible Hollywood death being sodomized by Charlie Sheen. Yeah. To being sodomized by Air Bud. <laughs> Air Bud with just, Air Bud in his trailer with just boas on and big cigarette holders. Like, you want to be a star, Shadow? I was in Air Bud one through five. I'm the top dog in this town. You better suck this cock if you want to be in one of my movies. Come to my house in the hills and blow me pools. Yeah. Yeah, the Air Bud's been raping Ed and fucking Wishbone yeah, for all years. Of oh, Air Bud's a monster. Air Bud's a fucking he's monster. He's the Weinstein and of... And no one can... He's the David Geffen of animals. <laughs> Again, 100% confirmed, bonfire endorsed. Not bonfire, David that's Geffen. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> David Geffen turned out Air Bud. I turned out Air Bud. <laughs> Air Bud was like, yeah, I was a cute puppy. Yeah. And then I got turned into a mean and then dog. I learned, and then I learned how to run this fucking world. <laughs> and then I you get a private island and then it's dog fuck dog from there. On out. <laughs> now I get all the dog butt I want. When I, cause I, you know, I'm from Colorado, and there's like a lot. There's much more Mormons than there are like Jewish people around us. Uh-huh. But a lot, some of the Mormons would like do this thing with like it. Do, look it up. I forget what it's called. There's a word for it where they like. St- you like stick your dick in the girl, but it's called you- soaking, right? Y- yes, that's yeah, what it's yeah. called. It's called soaking. Yeah, and they like stick their dick in and they don't move. I'm gonna soak it. Yeah. How crazy is that? <laughs> that is very, very weird. That's so stupid. What do you do? You just look at each other and say things like, <laughs> "It's warm." You like it's it? really warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's rough. It's rougher in here than I thought. <laughs> oh, don't move. Did you just move? Wait, I can't tell. Am I shrinking inside of you? <laughs> what? It's like I don't understand because that's religion tells him to do that. Yeah, right? it's like the way. So like, that God's Catholic- God's gonna see that and be like. You got me. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, that, uh, those read, are the rules. You read the small print. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious though? How many things have you ever watched what like Hasidic uh Jews go through to like get around the no electricity thing? Oh yeah. Like the phone, they have the things yeah. for the phones that like dial for you. You don't really don't touch it. All you yeah. touch, you're only touch, you're touching like a piece of yarn, and then like Rube Goldberg machines to like push yeah, a yeah. seven. <laughs> it's a real honey. I shrunk the kids. <laughs> yeah, he goes, All right, first number is two, and you got to push a, a marble. He goes. Everything that Hasid's ever did was there was a gay pride uh, two years ago. Maybe it's three years ago now. That it was like on a Saturday or something, so they couldn't go protest gay pride. Yeah. So they hired day laborers and dress them up like Hasids. That's not it's true. It's 100 percent true because really? I was walking through. No, I was walking through Pride. Me, no, I was walking through Pride, and there's a bunch of Mexican like Hasidic Jews protesting the gay oh, pride parade. I'm like, shalom, this, shalom. I was like, this. Guy, I, I don't understand I, what this is. I thought I, it was. You know, like a hidden camera yeah. show or I something. Divorce. It didn't make any sense. I'm disturbing each other. Shalom, everybody. Because, you know, it's not okay to do that. No, man. Hey, can I get a mazaball soup? <laughs> Maybe a nice... <laughs> and a bagel and a schmear? 
<laughs> Look at your tokens. <laughs> it's a covered in door. <laughs> oh, look, it's my booby. I know. Get in here, booby. I have to be afraid of the schwarzes. Hey, do you have the rain money? Because it's already the, it's already 12 o'clock on the first of the month. So technically the rain is 12 hours late. Here it is. Jewish group. Uh, it's from the Times of Israel. We'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM. But it says Jewish group hires Mexican day laborers. Uh, an Orthodox Jewish group hired Mexican laborers to protest for them at the gay pride parade in New York. We represent the Jews. Rep- this is bad gay stuff. A reporter from the New York Times witnessed the group of Mexican men picketing for the Jewish Political Action Committee, a fringe Hasidic group based in Brooklyn, at Sunday's parade in Manhattan. Well, good for them. They're yeah. So Can fantastic. you imagine those guys getting in that minivan in the Home Depot parking lot? And he's like, well, it's not drywall today, fellas. All right, listen. Good news, bad news. What do you want me to start with? Bad news is you're going to have to wear this very uncomfortable woolly clothing. I'm okay. So much- They're plenty simple. You go in. You make some moves. You scare the Jews. You tell them the Jewish the people gays. are here. The gays run. Yeah. They go home and do whatever the goddamn they do with their fishnicket closets <laughs> and suck each other's schmeckles and eat and over there and eat and out. <laughs> <laughs> I want you, you to, to scare the <laughs> shit out of them. What do you do? Ah, sneak up on them. I em. want you to walk up to the fudge packers <laughs> and you say to them, get your schmeckles out of each other's tuchuses. <laughs> Stop dancing around and get back in your closets. It's very simple. Live uh, in the closet. It's a big closet. Do you understand? Stay, stay there. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I think so. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. They seem like good people. Dude, that is so fucking funny to hire mm. people to protest for it's- you. The funniest thing anyone has ever done, and it's—I mean—they're the best at comedy. He goes, he goes, Anytime Jews claim to be the best at comedy, you go, "You're right. This is it. This is the pinnacle. This is, this is blazing saddles for me. It doesn't get any better than this." At the bonfire SXM <laughs> to see the day laborers. I mean, yeah, yeah, man. that is why God, and then they don't spell God, sent AIDS to punish male gays. <laughs> He goes, and it's delivered right here in me. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, you go, you walk up to interview him. You go, do you actually believe in this? He goes, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I just do this so I can get my Winnie the Pooh <laughs> denim jacket back from the hairy man they took it from me. <laughs> I don't know. Mister Fleischman told me I can stop building his pool for yeah. one day to come out here. He goes, I tell you this, I'll be back with a snack. It's sundown. <laughs> you boys worked very hard today. You scared the gays. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, the holy! F- I didn't know that was a real fucking thing. God yeah, damn, I know. I'm so glad that it was covered because I saw it and I was like, no one is going to believe. It. Yeah, especially you. Yeah, you, like if you walk around, I'd be like, dude, I'd be like, all right, sure, Mullen. There's yeah. day laborers dressed as hostages. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. let's not get so. <laughs> yeah. Stop pushing your agenda. Right. right. No, that's like something I would pitch that would r- result in me not. Being asked back to write on a show. <laughs> you go, what? Maybe the last <laughs> sketch I ever came up with. <laughs> he became problematic when he said that seeds would yeah. hire day laborers <laughs> to protest gays. Yeah, more like 5 a.m. Um, well, dude, something we were talking about on the break that I tried to do like a slick radio segue, but it didn't work. Mm-hmm. When you're talking about lens crafters, I was like, mm-hmm. oh, you look like a fake doctor. Because mm-hmm. I can't believe we've never fucking talked about this story. Because yeah. the story I want to talk about was a fake masseuse who's accused of sexual assault in this lawsuit. But then Nick was like, oh, like that fake gynecologist in Florida <laughs> that was a high schooler. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And there's no, and everyone on the staff swears we haven't covered it. I love, I love how I like. But how did we miss this? Florida had, Florida had this string of weird stories in like 2014 where it'd be like a man fucking an alligator, and then this like gynecologist, and then the bath salt thing. Yeah. So this, and people are like, that's Florida for you. And then the, uh, the Pulse nightclub shooting yeah. happened, and like no one wanted to be the <laughs> asshole. That's like, mm, guess that's Florida. <laughs> yeah. And that just that in the butt. That's the end of the <laughs> wackiest. Florida. 
Florida, huh? Uh, no, the no greatest way, mass boy. shooting of all time. Go, yeah. So, hey, props to Florida for getting people to shut the fuck up. Man. You want weird? We'll give you weird. You push. A Muslim gunning down 53 he goes, gays. He goes, we push, we shove. Uh, yeah, right. Florida. We'll show you how weird it can get, brother. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to make your little t-shirt jokes? Uh, well, yeah. apparently there was a teen arrested. Big ups for Florida. Big ups, Omar Mateen. Is that his name? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. That's the shooter. I thought you were new. I thought you knew the fake gynecologist's name, oh, and I was no. like, you're in deep on this story. Uh -huh. like, well, here's the actual ABC story. An 18-year-old who calls himself Dr. Love is under arrest. <laughs> Dude, uh, pause pause it. Dr. Love. Please screen grab that picture, because Jacob's obsessed yeah. with it, and then also tweet and it out. And they say post-rape Cosby can't be a role model. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, look at that. There he is. He's got the Mr. T uh, mohawk up top, mm -hmm. and he's doing like a fucking Walmart <laughs> pose, like a Walmart photography yeah, pose. Yeah, he was like, he went to Olin Mills and said, let me get the Dr. Cosby. Yeah, yeah. They went, okay, yeah. fun. Uh -huh. Oh, you want to be a doctor? I love to see a black man just yeah. <laughs> like, because you idolize powerful men yeah. don't you you want to be a professional he goes, that's he's like, it no nah, I'm just going to dress up like a doctor I'm going to rape <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to finger rape a bunch I'm of rape a bunch of people with a, this a bunch of women that probably shouldn't live on their own <laughs> you know what would be funny if he never got caught and he got shot by the police they would show this picture and they were like he was going to be a doctor <laughs> <laughs> also yeah, no one would know yeah, no one would know no one would have known <laughs> Medicine without a license. ABC Steve Osinsami has the story. The, they keep I'm saying they medicine. They keep saying fingering a pussy is medicine. Yeah, yeah they keep it. saying yeah. practicing uh, medicine. Damn, bitch, you like. need some uh, <laughs> medicine. <laughs> <laughs> That's his dick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he goes, you want me to open the pharmacy? <laughs> He's just playing with his dick on the outside of his pants. Mm -hmm. He goes, girl, you need some medicine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play. I love that this kid's a gynecologist, <laughs> and they haven't revealed it yet. Take a good look at the young man in the white doctor's coat seen here being hauled to jail by a Florida narcotics <laughs> team. Oh, oh, wait, it's great. Tweet out this picture, too, because it does look like a doctor's comment on a major news story. We have the victim. They are healing. Um, the pussies have not been stretched. Uh, we know a lot of them are intact. A lot of them are dry. Slots, we have some, uh, slightly fingered. Because some of them are wet. Some of them have been fingered. Some <laughs> We do not know the severity of the fingering. <laughs> or to what degree? Like, see what what had happened was I, <laughs> I was fingering pussies good. <laughs> I was a few bitches said their pussies was sick. I fingered them. Goes, and then Craigslist mm -hmm. checked my backup email, and that's when they realized I wasn't a doctor. Yeah, I wasn't, anyway, I wasn't shout a, out, motherfucker. <laughs> Pussydoctor at gmail dot com. <laughs> that was the reference. <laughs> the referral. All right, this is him commenting. You will from my lawyer. Hard to believe, Hell but yeah. police say that Dr. Malachi <laughs> Love Robinson is Malachi. no doctor. His lawyer is another 17. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 16. I'm a junior <laughs> posing as a lawyer. He's like, I'm, look, I got this. I'm going to act like a lawyer, defend women, finger them in their cells. <laughs> <laughs> when I inevitably lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I'm gonna... Roman, if I make them be held in contempt of court, I go visit them in their cell. He goes, Guess what's in the briefcase? Big slippery dildo. <laughs> <laughs> also, I like that he goes by Dr. Love. He was examined by an undercover cop. The cop was like, okay, okay, yeah, you're in there. Uh, you're busted, mister. It reminds me of that, <laughs> reminds me of that South Park where, where he fucking acts like a prostitute and fucks him. He's like, I'm a cop. Give it to me. Come on, you sissies. I can fit more of you. Yeah, you like your little stripper whore? You like her? Freeze. After he blows the dude. Doctor at all. And in fact, he's a teenager accused this morning of trying to pass himself off as a physician for months. Investigative reporters at our West Palm Beach affiliate <laughs> WPBF 25 have been following the 18-year-old and even sat him down for an interview. He admits that a year ago, he was the same teenager police detained at a local hospital after a gynecologist found him in an exam room wearing a hospital lab coat and a stethoscope around his neck. I didn't snatch out a baby. I didn't do any of that. Yeah. Police I didn't get my it. hand that far in. <laughs> he goes, I was going for it. I was inches <laughs> away from the baby. <laughs> he goes, I he goes I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. He goes, I got a fingertip I that touched I'll say this. I did baby up a snatch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he goes, I got that thing ready. I got that thing ready.
love and say he fooled his victims with this elaborate website and this glowing bio where he calls <laughs> himself life. a well-rounded <laughs> professional who uses psychotherapy, electrotherapy, and a long list of other techniques. He goes, first I'll make you feel good, then that dick make you feel electric. <laughs> then I shock the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, that's the shocker. He goes, you, got, you ready for electric <laughs> therapy? The woman looks down and she's like, what are you, he's just shaving a landing strip <laughs> into her pubes. Like, goes, I thought this was part of it. He goes, this is sexy. This is yeah. what I like. I'm not trying to upsell you here, but... <laughs> yeah, I you can know, bedazzle it. Your insurance isn't going to cover the landing strip. <laughs> you got Blue Cross. <laughs> yeah. I just got to shave half. I mean, honestly, considering how fucked up healthcare in this country is, if someone's willing to f at least finger pussies for free, God bless that man. <laughs> this is as close as we're going to get to Bernie Sanders in the White yeah, House. Let him is... fucking go free. <laughs> let him just let this man let out. Let him go free. Let this man out of his cell. In early January, he held a grand opening for this medical clinic. That's where police sent an undercover cop posing as a patient. When he started giving her a physical exam, she oh, put him in fuck. handcuffs. Oh, Damn, that's like, that's like dude. cruising. Where, where Al Pacino has to have gay sex to find the serial killer. <laughs> dude, I love that. Imagine being that female cop. They're like, listen, <laughs> Diane... I know you already get plenty of shit in the locker room, but we're going to need you to let you have this 17-year-old finger blast your pussy. You are our top narcotics <laughs> lieutenant, and we respect you. Uh, right. Unfortunately, you're the only one on the squad with a pussy, and we got this kid. His name's Dr. Love. He's going to yeah. try to give you... Dude, imagine him, like, it's just you're, you're sitting on that table, and he comes in with that confidence, like, yeah. putting on a glove. He's like, I mean, are you a squirter? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? He goes, do you want to come fast or yeah. slow? She I just, goes, like, imagine him ass-fingering Herc from the wire wearing a wig. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go ahead and just stick it in there. Yeah. Uh, 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 that's it, I'm done. Uh, yeah. So There's what? This fucking building. How does he get in? How does there? There has to be a nurse in the room. Affirmative how action. Did everyone, <laughs> how did he just get a medical facility to, to scam bad, people? It's too with? bad there wasn't a white lady to call the cops. <laughs> as soon as he walked in, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you who goes. I'll tell you who goes undetected longer. Asian teenager that decides to do oh, yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> that kid. Good luck, buddy. Yeah. You'll be fucking. You'll be. You'll be one of the members of the board before <laughs> they find <laughs> out. Because his dick's been in all of them and they can't tell. <laughs> Oh, let's see what he. I love these. Like you're a speak to my lawyer. He's oh, like. Yeah. Can I point out that right before this, you had there was a also on his website was a f a Photoshop of him with two nurses behind him to yeah. give legitimacy. Just Monster Energy you, booth just, girls. He just, he, added a two, <laughs> he just photoshopped Wait, himself in front of two nurses. Do you think he photoshopped him at the it? car show with the new, the new Lancer? <laughs> I, I think that's the remodification of GTO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he actually movie. got nurses to stand behind, oh, that's dude, incredible. I don't think it's hard for... Uh... They just find like, some black nurses in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Those just look uh, fake. <laughs> Real. Fake. Uh, go back to his say, I feel like this kid's as much of a doctor as Judge Mathis is a judge. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? Oh, absolutely. And then they're He's as much as a doctor as Dr. Phil? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So if you're Dr. Phil, you can get away with it. Yeah. You know? So white. He's allowed to touch people's hearts, which are way more delicate than a pussy. Christine? Guys. They're not lying to finger girls, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's, yeah. You know, that that's whole a little weird. Thing. Do you know that for a fact? <laughs> no, you know I don't. Thank raped? you, Nick. On <laughs> fire, on the record, official opinion of everyone here, Dr. Phil has raped people. <laughs> With his fingers. His finger people on the show? Allegedly. 100% bonfire confirmed. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> for sure. You got yeah. bad baby, dude. Uh -huh. Allegedly. He got bad, right. he got bad I would baby. like to rescind my comments yeah. about Dr. Phil <laughs> after thinking about it for another second. <laughs> I need my, my family and my friends need privacy at this time. <laughs> yeah. Please don't leave me alone. Let's go to the end of the All news the clip. people that you know, believed in you, that thought you, know, you well, knew what you were talking about. I'm hurt because of the accusations and the allegations, but like I said, this is not the first time where I've been accused, and yeah. I will pursue this. He's being held on $3,000 bond set to appear in court later this morning. What does he think well, he's going to win? How does he think he's going to be exonerated from this? They go, you know what? He really is going to be a doctor from the future. He came back in time. Yeah. Look at that I mean, cop with the mask. Like, he's trying to hide his identity. Yeah. Like, he's ashamed of he's it. He's afraid of this kid, dude. <laughs> he knows how powerful this kid is. <laughs> this guy he's like, you're 18 and fingering? <laughs> you're sneaking into clinics and fingering? Dude? I don't want you to know who I am. You're like a super villain, dude. Show up in my house painted like fucking, the wall. Are you Mr. Glass, dude? <laughs> I guess that's like... He's the, just going to... All of a sudden, your kitchen basket comes alive, and it's him. He's like, I've been planning this revenge for 15 years. Just while keep I was on showing inside. up as different professions. <laughs> yeah. That firefighter was that kid again? <laughs> 
Oh, man. All this stuff is so easy to get the costume. <laughs> I will fight these. Okay, that's so the end of the news story. I will fight these allegations. I will get through. N- I love that. <laughs> I fucking love that. Is there another news story where they call him Doc Doogie Hauser? There definitely was one about a fake gynecologist and said real life Doogie Hauser. Or I conflated two stories, and you assholes had to call me on it. <laughs> yeah. Instead of Welcome letting to the me, truth. Instead of letting me have that. Well, we're not gonna let you live your alleged life here. Yeah, my secret life. <laughs> your secret life. According to Alan. <laughs> yeah. My secret tortured internal life. Again, more metal lyrics. Yeah. I, it is pretty cool, he I goes, guess. He goes, black hole, son. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you come? Yeah. Have you tried smiling like those people in the video? <laughs> Let's just just watch the Black Hole Sun music video. He goes, really? Yeah. Respect. What I do you say? Go, I go in there and I just talk to him about thrash metal for <laughs> yeah, he's for fucking, two hours. At the end of the day, he's into that. Yeah. So this kid was charged. Was he convicted? Uh, let's play this one. Malachi, they say you've been practicing medicine without a license. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, you mean get my... Get my fingers wet? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't practice medicine. I perfected it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then he, and then he drags his finger yeah. under the nose of the reporter. Yeah. I love it. He goes, he goes on Shark Tank in the suit. And he's, yeah. and he's like, my plan? Pretending to be a doctor to take the pisses. <laughs> and they're all like, I'm out, except for the FUBU guy. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, go on. Yeah. He, they just tent their fingers at each other. Oh, shit. He got three years. Nice. Full calendar year. Uh, And this is from 2018. Shit. So this is, he got sentenced in January. He got uh, 18, poses a fake doctor running a fake clinic. Uh, The new birth, new life, alternative (laughs) medicine, an urgent care clinic without a license. Mm -hmm. At the time he was arrested. Yeah. So we, we know that. I think this guy legitimately didn't understand how awful what he was doing really was, and that's actually a really scary thing. Yeah, well, I mean, he also got caught for writing bullshit checks and grand theft. <laughs> yeah. This guy's... Oh, I mean, what a so con that's artist. what he was sentenced for. Yeah. yeah. He did know. He's a, if he saw... He really did see Catch Me If You Can, and was like, I'm just going to yeah. do this the way I want to do it. Yeah. He goes, instead of airplanes, it's pussy. And uh-huh. Nissans. And Nissans. <laughs> used pussy Nissans. And Nissans. Yes. <laughs> Those are real apartment yeah. complex dreams. It's just, it's still Chris <laughs> walking and his dad for yeah. some reason. He's capitaned you to so, talk to. One of these days, you're going to grow up, and you're going to finger all of the pussy. Of course. Just wait to finger the pussies. Yeah. Who are you fingering tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you fingering? Can't do it. It feels really good. It feels good. It feels good to finger it. I'll get you your first room at the double tree. <laughs> you pretend. Open a banquet. I'm from the new Rochelle gynecology clinic. <laughs> <laughs> this is my doctor. Also my son. <laughs> it's my, my son here is my associate at the new Rochelle gynecology clinic. <laughs> uh, ma'am, we just came down to this bank to maybe get a loan and also finger your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Check her for polyps <laughs> if she has them. It's possible your wife has pussy cancer. Luckily, my son may be able to do something about that. He's Perhaps got... if you could give me a three thousand dollar business loan, <laughs> so I can open up my tie sorting business He's got down what at the I can... New Rochelle Rotary Club. What only others have called the touch. <laughs> Let him touch your pussy. He got an office, a fully functional <laughs> office to yeah. pull a scam off. The thing is, if you want to, if you want to fuck at that age, you can just pretend to be a cooler person. <laughs> yeah, this guy <laughs> took an extra guy. mile. I just smoked cigarettes and did drugs and dropped out of high school, and that worked perfectly. No, you know what he That's did? That's all you have to do. He faked extra school in yeah. less time. Nah, stupid. Why? It was guaranteed, stupid, dude. It was guaranteed. You just settle for girls covered in like cigarette lighter burns, <laughs> <laughs> just self harm wounds and <laughs> self. Fishnet sleeves. And you're good. Yeah. You're good to go. Uh-huh. There had to have Figure been... out how to slide into MySpace DMs, you know? Yeah. There had to have been a time, like one of his first, uh, when he was faking as a doctor, where he still was too little kid about it, where mm-hmm. he's like... <laughs> like sees her vagina and he's like, "That's your vagina." <laughs> she goes, "Aren't you a doctor?" And he goes, "Yeah, but fuck, that's funny." Yeah, I don't know. She goes, "Are you gonna, are you gonna inspect me, doctor?" He goes, "Do you want me to?" This is weird. Oh, I don't, it feels weird. It feels super weird. That's it's so really, stupid. It's, yeah, I know. It's just really warm. Yeah. It also had to be something that he was like, "No, you're ugly." <laughs> yeah. I mean, just a fat, ugly lady who's like, ew, your pussy's gross. Yeah. Like, Excuse me, doctor? He's he like, looks at the, he looks the clipboard and he, out. he shuts it. He goes, all right, Mrs. McNamara, you got a gross pussy. I got to leave. <laughs> got your x-rays back. Gross puss. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. I ain't touching that thing. 
Well, what about this fake masseuse that's accused of sexual assault? <laughs> and while we're in the fake fake profession for touching women game, mm-hmm. that's Teen Mom pulling a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know, oh, Asian dude. You can't be Asian and fake masseuse. He's a masseuse, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only requirement that it takes. It's like, yeah. what are you, fucking Asian? Get in here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I bet your yeah. hand pressure is off the this is, this is the only guy that can stop air <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, First, I, I walk into his body to relax yeah. him, and then he oh. becomes dinner. He goes, air Bud, you are carrying tension. <laughs> An unlicensed masseuse in Connecticut sexually assaulted a woman after asking her if she had a boyfriend and suggesting that she remove her underwear. You have a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> he, did it, he did it in, in, in like, in, uh, yeah. Asian, like... Is this your boyfriend? He goes, take off, do you take off pants? He's just budging yeah. it. Take off Chi- your pants. Chinatown <laughs> style. So, uh, so uh, like, who fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> a 36-year-old woman from Stratford claims in a lawsuit filed in Bridgeport that Huang Kim sexually assaulted her during a massage at Coco Spa. <laughs> In Shelton in May. Um, Kim, 55, of Fresh Meadows, New York, was arrested after uh, the woman, this, after six women claimed he sexually assaulted six. them. Six. Hmm. Wow. Our claim is that this company hired an individual who was unlicensed and didn't supervise him, and that results, he used this business as a tool to assault women. Is well, this sexual assault or is this just a foreigner? What man doesn't use his business as a tool to sexually assault women? Well, you That's know. the only reason to have a business. Well, I'm thinking like <laughs> massages. <laughs> you know, some guys want to... Am I wrong? No. I don't know. Sounds Am like I wrong? Sounds like he's already rubbing them. Yeah. I rest my case. And then he's case. like, uh, what do, you have a boyfriend? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think you'd casually do that though when you're working your nuts off. off. Now you take your pants off. He goes, all right, flip over and uh, take off those panties. <laughs> and I know a doctor. He'll be here very yeah. soon. He Dr. Goes, Dr. 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 Rob. Dr. Rob will be here. Get you checked out and then I rub you back. Oh, that would be a great like buddy movie. That's a power <laughs> couple. Oh, movie. Harold and Kumar. <laughs> of the sexual yeah. assault world. Kim and Love. Love Lip, and Kim. Love yeah. Kim. They got good names. <laughs> God, love Kim. Uh-huh. You walked in and said that this was the first time you, you're just coming off your first therapy session. Yeah. As an adult. As an adult. When was the last time you went to therapy? I try. I had a manic episode. Actually, it's not. It's technically not true. I went to. I had a manic episode when I was like 23 and just went to see somebody, but it it wound up being bullshit. And I was like crazy. Yeah. So I just showed up with a bunch of notebooks and charts I had made to prove that God existed. <laughs> do it, do it. And I was like, can I go? Can I go? And I was like, okay. So here, the ju- and it's just an hour of like just conspiracy theories and like showing her these charts and Dude, explaining. If- and then we get to the end. She's like, I, I don't know. Yeah, like, do that. <laughs> that poor woman. She opens her office door and just sees Nick with materials. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, Dude, got, like fuck. colored pencils and yeah. the laser pointer. He goes, sit down. Do you have a wall I can project on? Uh-huh. Oh, you got to follow me. Yeah. By the end of this, I you're going to know God exists. TEDx talk about deities. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking great. So yeah. besides that, this was the first time. Yeah. You, did you used to go? Because I go to therapy consistently. I try to talk Jay into it. Shane thinks dude, that's that fucking gay. gay, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Therapy's so I fucking gay. Knew it. It is. I knew immediately that's going to be Shane's here calling Therapy shit. is fucking gay <laughs> as fuck. Dude. He's not wrong. I mean, He's not wrong. It I is. Feelings. Uh, it is bright. I have feelings. I don't feel good. <laughs> Sorry, our dads don't make us do shuttle runs in the backyard <laughs> to fucking increase our pass block. You fucking son of a coach. Jesus, let some feelings in. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. Yo, I had to go once. I uh, <laughs> it was when I <laughs> I was being a fat pussy when I was younger. Dude, yeah. Andy Haynes made me laugh so hard the other day. We were sitting around. He's like trying to figure out what his next move is. Andy's probably like thirty six now. He's my yeah yeah. We're thirty. We're the same age. Yeah yeah. And he's just like yeah. Comedy destroyed my life. <laughs> 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 it's like, yeah. Yeah. You live with Mike Racine. Oh you're hell trying yeah. Trying to get a moving company job. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like you're divorced. It's heroin and comedy. That's what just fucking wreck your life. <laughs> yeah. When you're on the bottom end of it, you go like yeah. And then I woke up on a mattress and I realized I'd just been chasing the wrong thing. No, plane. heroin addicts have a mattress. <laughs> yeah, comments are like, like, yeah, no, I'm staying on Luke's couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're thinking about starting a podcast with a snow globe. Yeah. That I was found the... out you could just use the shower curtain as a towel and you don't need to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like your therapy session? No. I mean, the, the guy says this, to... quote unquote, you are internally tortured and you're living a secret life because you can't accept yourself and you lie to everybody constantly. Those sound like metal lyrics. Not your fault. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That Don't sounds do like... that to me. Don't fucking throw stingers at me. It's when not I'm... your fault. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Don't do it to me. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, come on. I, I imagine that scene the whole time. It's just like, no, that's me. I'm bad will hunting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking bad. I'm bad will hunting from Southie. That's how everybody knows uh, me. If it been He's a like, real... but what if you were good will hunting? And then that's when he has the breakdown. Yeah. And he goes, whoa. Uh, well, what if I was good will hunting? I fucking never thought of it like that. Maybe I could be good will hunting. Yeah. Instead of bad willy. <laughs> <laughs> you remove the, uh, you remove him being good at math and uh-huh. no one wants to help that guy. Mm-hmm. Now, especially It's now. a shame no one could give Robin Williams that speech in that closet. Why? Well, he's choke jerking. No. You know our theory. Is, is that the theory? Jay, Jay has a very sound choke jerk theory. I like theory. that David Carradine single-handedly ruined suicide <laughs> for so many people. He was the one guy that ever confirmed their dad. And now anytime anyone hangs himself, Dude, it's like, is, oh, yeah, you should find a Jay, drum. Jay's upset. <laughs> Jay's, Jay's proven the point. He did not to beat off. He goes, yeah, he, he slipped. David Carradine. Yeah. That's who did that. And now, uh, like, you, from people, NXS. There's people who can't respect... Anthony Bourdain's death because of David Carradine. Yeah, because, because of Kung Fu. Well, immediately. People like who? I don't know. Like, like you, motherfucker. Like him? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Like Listen Jay? to Jay's choke jerk theory. Tell me, dude, this lot... is all choke jerk. <laughs> <laughs> See? The ghost of Jay remains. You do, you, he's fucking... Uh, he makes a good point that um, if you do die from choke jerking, it makes a lot more sense that your legacy is saved by saying it's a suicide. Mm. But now there's Maybe always... Maybe if you're Catholic. I don't know. Well, no, not even. No, because then if, like, if Robin Williams both was confirmed... Both of those double whammies. Yeah. 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 You if, go either way. Yeah. If both... If Robin Williams was a confirmed choke jerk, mm. death changes the whole legacy. No, if you are Catholic and you get... Let's say you're judged, right? Okay. You're, and you've been choke jerking, but they can't prove it. I guess they don't know your intentions because human beings have free will. Yeah. So you're on trial trying to get into heaven. <laughs> and this is up, okay, so this is in the, uh, on the, on a different and astral you meet plane. St. Peter. Yeah, yeah you're, this you're is St. Peter's Gates. The pearly gates. You're hey. on trial and you say, well, I'm imagining more of like a defending your life situation. Okay, I, I can completely go Albert with that. Albert Brooks. Yes, okay. absolutely. Great movie. Now, it's up to the state to prove whether you were either <laughs> masturbating a sin yeah. or killed yourself a sin. It's a double. But if you can Create a safe space, an ambiguous space in between the two, where it occupies neither. There's no clear offense, so you get into heaven on a technicality. Are you because trying they to have th- insufficient evidence for both crimes discreetly? Are you a choke jerk attorney? I Are am. you a choke jerk def- <laughs> defense I'm attorney? I'm just trying to get everybody into heaven. Uh, Mullen and Mullen, <laughs> we're going to get you in. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to get everybody who wants to kill <laughs> yeah, yeah. themselves into heaven. Anybody that wants to slap it around and die while doing it, Nick <laughs> Mullen will get you right in. But I mean, yeah. Choke. It could be a choke jerk. I still think it's it's still a possibility. You think Robin Williams was trying to masturbate? Okay, well, Chester Kate Bennington? Spade. Kate Spade. Well, that's a people, suicide. People are saying it about Kate Spade. No, they're not. They're saying it's a choke jerk? Here, how about this? On the record right now, Kate Spade was choke jerking. I'll okay. say it. Nick on, Mullen. For from the Comtown, sake of the point. Patreon.com. For the sake Comtown. of the point, I'll say it. Okay. That it was That is confirmed 100%. You're not allowed to sue me for saying it. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that gets you out <laughs> of it. <laughs> Actually, you have to say allegedly. You have to say allegedly. I know that. I, Christine's right. What... First of all, did you hear my rock solid defense of getting his people in heaven? I don't know about I your, think I, I mean, know the law. Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. I didn't know I was dealing with a heaven court lawyer, heaven lawyer, <laughs> Nick Mullen. <laughs> I'm going to get you. Yeah. I, or, well, yeah. You, all right. So you're on the record saying it's Kate Spade. I'm not on the record. Now that I've, I've thought about <laughs> yeah, it, I'm not on the record. <laughs> See what but I'm sure you hear it. I guarantee you if you looked, you could find somebody saying she was she was jerking off. Yeah. And it's, I mean, and it's, it's, David, it's David Carradine's fault. It is. It, well, Had who David, was the guy from NXS? What's his name? Michael... Michael Hutchins. Michael Hutchins. Beautiful man. Hutchins. Beautiful daughter, by the way. All right. Take a look See, at her daughter. That's a weird... His daughter. That feels a real, uh, like, uh, meme, just to go from me mm-hmm. like, your dad choked her to look at that piece of ass. <laughs> <laughs> to look what he left behind. Well, th- that's chacha. what makes her hot, is that her dad... <laughs> that her dad's into weird shit? Yeah, her dad killed himself by jacking off. He goes, does the apple fall far mm-hmm. from the tree? Does the <laughs> apple choke yeah. close to the tree? <laughs> I would love, there should be, like, a truth campaign for choke jerking or whatever, like uh, those old weed ones where it's like, just tell your little sister you forgot to pick her up from soccer practice because you were choke jerking yourself in the closet. <laughs> just tell your boss you didn't make it to the meeting because yeah. you were auto-erotic asphyxiating yeah. in the broom closet. It's just the talking dog that's like, don't pet me with those hands. Yeah. <laughs> or instead of the melted the melted guy, he goes, that's Is my that friend. my leash? Yeah, my melted friend. Yeah, he's drained of cum from choke jerking. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get enough of it.
The you, Greeks would believe that you spilling your nut destroyed a part of your, your voice. You would lose your voice if you nutted. <laughs> it's completely made up. No, it's 100% true. What? So they had, and I forget what it's called, but they would tie a little, <laughs> they would tie a little bow around the dickhead to hide their dickhead under the foreskin. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> certain types of people needed to be nude in public, like athletes and artists. And you weren't allowed to show your dickhead unless you accidentally come and ruin your voice. <laughs> ruin your voice? Yeah. yeah Guys, this, I can't. This holds up. <laughs> this holds up for sure. I believe no, that's, this is it's hard. history. This is hard it is science. History. Dan Carlin was just talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, and then he comes again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can't. I mean, that is pretty hardcore. <laughs> yeah. Dude, tying a fucking thing. So wait, they would, they would tie a cap. Around their dickhead and then put their overskin they over. Tie a little ball around. It. I only know about it because there's a statue or a, a sculpture. The uh, I don't know the fighter, the 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 fighter. It's, I don't know. It's a, so they put a ball. I'm just trying to understand it. Has, they put a ball over the dickhead. Well, they weren't cut, so they had yeah. foreskin. So, so they, they have would foreskin. Tie the foreskin closed with like a bow. Oh wow! Yeah. A little present. Do a little full. Do you have yeah. to put your finger there? Can you like? Do you mind putting your finger there while I do the bow? As a reminder. Yeah. Uh, no, you get it done at the top floor of Macy's. <laughs> Yeah, they have professionals that yeah, do Yeah, can you shut my dick? I'm yeah. going to go buy Vitamix. <laughs> I'm going to go outside. Uh -huh. Can you wrap up my dick? Yeah. Damn, that's tough because then you get hard for no reason and you bust through that bow. Yeah, uh -huh. but then it's like a stripper just... coming through a cake. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hello! Yeah. Tear through it. You got to ask your friend. Be like, dude, you got an extra bow? You go, ow, ow, ow. I got the little skin leaking just off. Busted it. Yeah, busted my bow. Dude, yeah, that is true. I mean, what if you're just out in public naked? You get a good warm wind. Uh huh. And you start fucking thickening up, especially in Greece. Especially right? there's hot boys running yeah, around. Yeah, in Greece. Oh, dude, it's, it's all not only is it cool, it's encouraged. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> dude, you're taking that sweet fine fruit. Mm -hmm. And fuck it, yeah. What do you think of that, Jacob? <laughs> Jacob? I like making Jacob wince. Jacob's just like, yeah, no. Did you find that? I could not find that. I found an article called the An Epic History of Masturbation, but it says that it was accepted in Greek culture. Mm. What was? Coming, coming everywhere? No, she's masturbating. I right want here. you to come all over the place. <laughs> come on the ground. Come into my hairy chest. <laughs> it's, a weird, it's a weird thing to make eye contact. You were looking at me like, you got anything? Else? Uh, here it is. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, no. uh, Kino, Kino Dismay. I don't know. I can't pronounce yeah. it. Here, let me see. There you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's got a little bow on there. Oh, look at the feng shui. <laughs> he's got a oh, bow. Look at the feng shui. <laughs> he's got a nice little bow on his wiener. That is pretty cool. All right, Christine's bringing it up on the big screen mm -hmm. so we can see this. We'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's the Kino... Uh, I can't pronounce that correctly. Yeah. How do you say that? Dog tie is the name of it. That's the English tra translation. Kino... Dog tie. Dog tie. You got dog tie that dong, dude. <laughs> you got a fucking... Your donger's break. loose. Oh, dude, my dog tie is about to break out. got down. dog tie. Look it's... at all these boys running around, dude. <laughs> it's a good way to you say got to break out the dog tie. <laughs> that is a great way of saying you're getting an erection. You're yeah. like, whoo, about to get break through this dog tie. Yeah. Oh, oh man. That's what we should have called it. You know when you tuck your boner in yeah. your the tuck method? Yeah. You should have called it dog tie. Just called it dog tie? Tuck method but wasn't they, as but, funny. Dude, we already got a thing that's called dog tie. It's this thing. Yeah. yeah, but nobody knows this. Well, we sh we should preserve this well, culture. It says sometimes a leather <laughs> fucking take things away from the Greeks. You're right. Enough has been taken away from them. They're Their responsible economy. for democracy. <laughs> it was a was a cord or a string or sometimes a leather strap that was worn by some athletes in ancient Greece to prevent the exposure of the glands, penis, in public. Uh, the penis head. It was tied tightly around. The acrophysician, I don't know. The part of the foreskin that extended beyond the glanus. Jesus. Oh, man, you can just watch it step by step online. <laughs> purpose was uh what i love is that there's always like guys who are into reenactment of this <laughs> yeah. the whole thing is like going to schools being like okay kids so this is what they would do yeah, and guess. it's a technicality i'm sh I, when i say this i know that this probably doesn't happen but yeah. Maybe. Yeah, in maybe in my fantasy world there's a man that's invited to schools to tie his penis shut in front of <laughs> first graders <laughs> because Oink, it's history oinkos the clown yeah. oinkos the greek clown the kids are like this is math class yeah. it's like yeah well, it's like a problem i grew up outside of athens <laughs> and i kept my 
my foreskin extra long uh-huh. to one day move to America to be the first penis tying <laughs> clown. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Just fucking nodded up. Mm-hmm. Uh, in art, it was first alluded to in literature in Fifth Bench. Yeah, all right. And uh, <laughs> I'm giving up on that. That's too smart. The public exposure of the penis head was regarded by the Greeks as dishonorable and shameful, something only seen in slaves and barbarians. Modesty and decency demanded that men who showed themselves naked in public setting, such as athlete actors, must conceal their glands. Damn. So I have a slave dick, according to Greeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty sick. I mean, I, would, <laughs> I don't know if I'd go saying that online or, you know. Yeah, dude, I got a slave dick. You might catch some heat on Twitter for that if you, like, tweeted that out. But, you know, <laughs> I think in context you're safe to say that. People are like, get this guy fired from compound. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, oh, no, forget it. I right, got promoted. <laughs> ah, oh, God. Now he's the, no. <laughs> now it's the show. Um, well, I mean, I did not think I was going to learn about this. Dog, I love just teaching people shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. I love coming <laughs> to these it. shows. You're so just, smart. Yeah. <laughs> you just fucking get it. Just telling people about weird shit I've read about. Just tell them about... Tying your dick shut. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's a huge shark fan. Jacob, our producer, is like a massive shark fan in his shark week. Mm-hmm. Oh, Discovery, which I've never given a shit. Sharking being the Japanese art of ripping women's clothes off <laughs> yes, in public and videotaping dude, it. Dude, is, is, that really, it is that really what sharking is? Yeah, sharking. Is that no. really? Yeah, uh, sharking. You know, I've never heard of sharking before? I've never heard that. That's a real thing. Yeah, can you yeah. fucking look up sharking? Yeah. That's what I love about this radio show is that you really can just go wherever you are. And uh-huh. I'm like, I want to get Jacob to talk about Shark Week. And yeah, you're like, dude. no, dude, Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> Back to some just weird Richard ancient Richard Dreyfus, like, we got to stop this guy from ripping women's clothes off. Don't you understand? I He's went to, out there somewhere. I went to college to make sure these Japanese guys can't see titties. These damn chaps mm-hmm. are out there ripping off these clothes. Oh, we should have a, a, a Dreyfus off because okay. these are so disparate impressions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I, I doing Kevin Spacey's impression, or I'm doing Daryl Hammond's impression of... Of Dreyfus? Of Dreyfus. I'm just doing what I think he sounds like from memory. So. I'm doing Richard Dreyfus. He's, now I've lost. Now I can't. Now I just hear <laughs> that. Now I can't remember exactly what he sounds like. That's pretty good. That's fucking this good. This is what is this? A shark or something? Yeah. And I go, these damn Japanese people. Which is, I'll tell Five, you, this. 500 Japanese people went into the water, chief. <laughs> 500 Japs Five. went into the subway, chief. And then 499 came out clothed. 499 shirts came torn off their bodies. <laughs> you ever seen a Jap when he uh, grabs clothes? Yeah. His eyes go white. You know, you can black. tell a Jap. From a Chinese chief, you measure the dorsal to the tail. <laughs> the thing about the Japs chief is they got dull's eyes. Lifeless eyes. No, they got the Black eyes. Lifeless eyes. Black eyes like a doll's eyes. <laughs> but when they pull that shirt off and they see those titties, those black eyes roll back white. <laughs> You hear that blood curdling scream of a Japanese woman fully exposed about to get bukkakied by nine businessmen. <laughs> nine fresh out of the office businessmen. Yeah. Anywho, that was my trip on the USS Indianapolis. <laughs> anyway, I got back and I opened this yeah. fishing boat. And now I'm a fisherman. Now I'm the Gordon's fisherman. Do you have the video? Do you have a video of sharking? It, I'm sorry, is this what you're talking about where guys like run up and it looks like they're pantsing people? Yeah. Dude, the Japanese are into silly shit. Yeah, they are. They really are. They're. In, it's always like it's like octopus into pants. You won't last five minutes in this family simulator. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's just people fucking. <laughs> 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 Oh! Oh! Did he just come on her? That's yeah. not real cum. Damn. Dude. Back that up. That bitch got sharked. Dude, dude. Bow. Oh! Come on! At the uh, 500 <laughs> men went under the Tokyo <laughs> docks for shore leave, Chief. <laughs> and when they came back, half of them were covered in cum. <laughs> dude, that's, dude, that's like, uh... Oh, yeah, it's rough to I watch. <laughs> I thought he was going to tear her clothes off and just blast it on her. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shot a load on her hair. I mean, oh, dude. That's I think like we're p- going to need a bigger load. There's a lot of different types of sharks. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big ocean out there, yeah, it's and a there's lot a lot of, of diversity. Uh, Jacob, you're not into actual sharking. You're into real sharks, right? You yeah. haven't been tricking us Dude, this entire I've time. I've never heard of this. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, it sounds like somebody's not really into sharks then, <laughs> are they? Uh, you haven't done yeah. your due diligence. Somebody hasn't spent learned. enough time Googling sharks. <laughs> yeah. What a waste of a good load. Yeah. Exactly, How many Christine? a guy goes on Shark Tank and then just runs up and jacks off in the FUBU guy's face? <laughs> <laughs> on Mark Cuban? <laughs> and and 
come to America. What the fuck are you doing? He's like, I did not know. I did not know. I come here. You tell me to shock. I, I come here to be a masseuse you in this country and know, but everybody say I do everything wrong. You tell me to. I just try to be a masseuse to shock, pussy. Shock, shock my Cuban. <laughs> I shock my Cuban. <laughs> I shock him. Uh, I sh I'm shock my Cuban right now. What if it's supposed to be shocking, yeah. but because of the way they talk, it sounds shocking. like right. it's a very shocking thing that happened. <laughs> yeah. You send your fucking daughter to a fish and turtle conference, and she yeah. gets pictures of her pussy taken. You should have known better as a parent. <laughs> you gotta tell, go to Panama I think, City. I think about I think about my son every day. Yeah, your you unborn know, son. What I'm going to tell him? What are you going to tell? Him? No Ace Ventura impersonators at the birthday party. They will try to fuck. Obvious him. mistake. Obvious. No Chinese masseuse. We're not doing that. If you, especially if he wants you to spread your legs. You're never seeing a doctor. Never a single doctor. In your life, because you never know with them. Are you going to go Christian Science? I, what is Christian Science? I think they just like pray away. Did you just look at pictures of Kevin Sorbo until you don't have cancer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like Hercules. Yeah, pull me through this. <laughs> yeah. I think it's uh, no. I think they don't believe in doctors. They believe in praying away. Am I wrong about yeah. that? Christian you know, Science. Did you see what was the trailer for? Can you pick up, pull up the? Uh, there was a movie with Jennifer Garner that was like a Christian movie last year that came out, and they cut the trailer in a way where the entire movie is in the trailer. So there's zero reason to go see the movie. What's the name of the movie? I you have to find it. Jennifer Garner, a Christian movie. It's about a little girl that gets like it, they're they're like just a Christian family, and it like looks like just you know the cover of like a Nicholas Sparks book. Like yeah. they have a house in the middle of a field. There it is. And the mom and dad are Mir hot. Miracles it, yeah. from heaven. Miracles from heaven. Start, it, Tire swing. Trailer. You know, a heart American heartland. These fucking asshole. The kind of people that like everyone should hate. <laughs> that if you're from one of these families, you deserve. To die in some kind of natural disaster. You, you deserve to have one of your children. You struck deserve down? to be punished by God. Why? Because you're doing so well, or just because your life yeah. is so perfect? Right. Because it's just all sunshine and fucking watermelon. Dude, and I love post lemonade stands. I love post therapy metal mullins. <laughs> just coming in here being like fucking burn the earth. Well, Alan did say that I should be angrier at people. Which, really? Yeah. He said you don't. Well, I don't know if he said people, specific people. My parents, I guess. He does, but they do that, so I don't know yeah. if they're right or not. Yeah, they, yeah they're just drumming up attention. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brian Murray on uh, Twitter saying, according to Jacob, Shark Week is really jumping the shark. <laughs> 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 and uh, I like that nice, good Millhouse gif. So let's go back to this trailer. Jennifer Garner, John Carroll Lynch. It's called Miracles from Heaven. Miracles from Heaven. <laughs> just kids playing. Perfect. I can't see it. Look at this perfect life. Okay, let's do yeah. Franklin. An investment in knowledge pays the best. Shut the fuck okay, up. Shut up, you <laughs> dumb bitch. <laughs> oh, guy rides the motorcycle? Yeah, a safe motorcycle. <laughs> oh, dude. And he's sexy. That's the yeah. family? Sexy, sexy motorcycle dad who's safe. He rides the motorcycle, but he's never fucking touched a hypodermic needle in his life. He would never leave his family. He's just got the Harley and he benches 340. <laughs> <laughs> just Reps. a safe Reps 325 just a safe, yeah, Who lifts He has prison tattoos For God and his family Yeah, oh, gross Go back and Shut say, the fuck up Because there is nothing worse Than yeah. fucking hunky Of oh, course the, That's the guy That's supposed to steal The wife yeah. in the drama oh, Shut <laughs> Fuck this guy Fuck this I family this. Yeah How did we miss this movie Alright Yeah Shot of this hey, yeah. baby, don't worry. I'm definitely not fucking the woman that works at AutoZone. Right. Yeah, shout yeah. out AutoZone. I say it a lot. No, he should beat her. He should have PTSD yeah. from going to Iraq First because he golf. fucking wanted to. First golf. He went because he wanted to, not out of economic necessity. Just went. He's, yeah, an excuse to kill it, Muslims. As he said, itching for a fight yeah, yeah, with yeah. those hajis. You want to pick on America? Yeah, I'm going to pick guys. on you. I'm right, exactly. I'll kill the child. Right. One of those guys. And then he came back and married Jennifer Gardner. And married Jennifer and Garner. Had daughters. Yeah, and now he's a safe motorcycle dad. Gross. Hit play, Christine. <laughs> Good life. They're perfect. <laughs> I thought that was in the trailer. Mommy, it hurts. Oh, no. It hurts. When Anna got sick, I just couldn't understand it. Why was this loving Your daughter's girl not patriotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this some real Midland thing? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Your daughter doesn't love America. Uh -huh. What? What are you? How is that possible? <laughs> I served. Yeah. She doesn't respect the flag. I didn't get it. We went throughout our life without thinking about all the people we exploit and subjugate just by living this existence. <laughs> and then suddenly my daughter had a tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> I think your daughter is lactose intolerant. Acid reflux. Everything looks okay. Everything's fine. Everything is not fine. 
There's something wrong with our little girl. Mrs. B, you, you need some to more calm down. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. Gamma rays. Yeah. Your daughter was exposed to gamma yeah. rays. She's going to hulk out. If you make <laughs> her upset, <laughs> she'll destroy your home. I didn't want to tell you that in front of your safe motorcycle husband. I'm sorry, but your daughter is middle class and bored and inventing problems. Yeah. You have none. He goes, this is what we call first world problems. Yeah. If you want, we can just call it fibromyalgia and send you home. <laughs> yeah, ADD, what do you want? It's Yeah, Lyme's disease. Get her a tent. <laughs> tint your windows on your fucking car and get out of my hospital. There's people with cancer. I got a guy with a knife in his fucking head <laughs> yeah, yeah. 15 feet away from me. Right. So you're a bored right. white bitch problem? A man, a man that inhabits the class that your husband is appropriating was just stabbed <laughs> to death in a bar fight. You want to know why? Because <laughs> he's strung out on Roxy. Because his father was a meth addict. <laughs> and beat him <laughs> without mercy. What, is this Martin Henderson? This is the husband. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's gorgeous. This guy. All right, Jacob. <laughs> Stop, dude. He's going through a lot. His daughter's fake sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. His daughter's going from the producers of Heaven is for Real. Unfortunately, the tests confirm that she's very ill. Are they in There's Boston? currently no cure for Anna's condition. Doctor, please. This yeah, is can you hear that Boston accent? I'm scared. Fuck you. Me too. We're not giving up. Like a small bone. Oh, based on the incredible true story. Based on a, well, it's bullshit, but hey, somebody said it one time. Yeah. Oh, no. Is that, I, I love that the doctor is Dr. Nick Rivera from The Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, your daughter is fucked up. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. your daughter's going to die. <laughs> yeah. We don't know why. It turns out all the other doctors were wrong. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, Jennifer Garner. <laughs> yeah. Your daughter's uh, going to die. Nick, Nick, please stop saying the actress's name. <laughs> Cut. Nick, if you say it again, we have, that's not her character name. All right, name. look, Jennifer, I'm so sorry, but we're going to have to go back and reshoot everything and change your character's name to Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, we just, can't get it to just work. Just to make it work. Unfortunately, his father owns the studio. <laughs> that's Mr. Rivera. <laughs> is very powerful. And we'll get it. How? And I'm not losing our faith. No, you have been married 14 years. Queen Latifah! Free her from this. Might only have yes, one back. Can you even hear me? I can make an explosion. Another kid's down? No, watch this. This is my fault. Watch this. this. Hold on, hold on a second. So the kid, that, I watch should explain out. what happens. A tree collapses. A tree collapses. And the same little girl with the fake stomach issues is down. I don't, down. Now, I don't say she's not a self keep in, mind, keep in mind, this is the trailer for this movie. Yeah, so you're so seeing both bad things that happen. You're seeing this story, and this is supposed to intrigue you to want to watch the movie. Anyone familiar with scripts would say this is the breaking part of Act 2. Yeah. <laughs> They're just giving it away. Yeah. This is my fight. This Easter. God fucks over a little girl because she had it good. She just right, and it didn't kill her, and it didn't paralyze her. It healed her. Yes. Yo, yeah, okay. Not impossible. Okay, so wait, they just gave away they what just happened. Gave away the I ending of the it. movie in the trailer. Wait, you got to roll. They, they did it. How in, do we explain? In the most childish way to. I also like that they're using barbarian science. Right. What kind they of go, exposition pain, is that? Pain of tree, take yeah. away pain of of angry gods. Yeah. Well, it, what kind of exposition is that? Like, Can you go to the breaking just having, of the tree. Just having her say, "You mean to tell me that this little girl falling out of a tree didn't kill her? It actually cured her weird disease that we haven't even named." Go back to where Jennifer Gardner's yelling at the sky because you know, Jennifer Gardner's like, "Can you even hear me, God?" Uh, yeah. And then the tree's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and she's like, "No." So that was you. That was you, God. Mm -hmm. I want money. I want a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. She's like, she's like, anyways, what are you in here for? She's like, my son was murdered by the police. <laughs> <laughs> for the uh, yeah, first day on they the They thought job. he stole Swedish fish, <laughs> so they shot him to death. 18 times. <laughs> yeah, he was seven. I'm here, <laughs> I'm, I'm here to identify the body. Well, she's like, oh, honey, don't you go to church? Every single day. Every day. Every day. And I lead a prayer in group fact, on Wednesdays. our church closed because a white boy shot up the church. Are you familiar with Dylan Roof? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she's like, what are you here for? She goes, my daughter had a tongue. 
tummy ache, but x-rays just couldn't show it. And all the doctors said she was fine, except for one Indian retard who said she was dying. <laughs> and then she fell out of a tree, and she's better. And here we and are. the logical conclusion is that God saved her, and not that this one doctor was a quack. <laughs> offering diagnoses in defiance of the entire medical community. <laughs> Let's go. I want to go back to her yelling at God and then God cracking that tree open. Yeah. Is it is it right before it? Because this is right before. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Just hit play. Free her from this. I might only have one back. Can you even hear me? I, can make I got you. <laughs> this is my fault. This is sure. should be end of trailer. Yeah. <laughs> Telling you that when this baby girl fell 30 feet, she hit her head just right, and it didn't kill her, and it didn't paralyze her. It healed her. Yes. I mean, I told you, I'm not a real doctor. Dr. Love recommended this case to me. I came in here because my my other doctor is fingering a woman who's passed out. I don't know. I was yeah. hoping to I'm fuck you. I'm actually 17, but in Iran, we age much faster because of, <laughs> Iran, yeah. because of the desert water. <laughs> I'm, dried, yeah, right. I'm very dried out. I mean, it's a very dry place, so you I'm, get wrinkled at 12. I'm a real dried out 17. Uh, let's watch the rest of the trailer because it just shows you that God, you know, works through trees. Mm-hmm. This is a little hard to believe. And there's a lot of people out there that are just looking for publicity. How do a we lot explain? Of think we're crazy. You either roll away or you get rolled on. The impossible. What? I just want to know more about whatever stupid fucking role Queen Latifah is playing. Miracles from heaven. What awful shit oh, had that woman say? That, <laughs> just, Sister girl, you know it's going to be okay. Yeah. And she has to live with herself after delivering those lines. Yeah, they go, and Because cut. that bullshit taxi cop movie didn't work out. Yeah, it didn't break right. God damn it, I feel bad for her. But yeah, Queen Latifah. I feel so, she was so talented. She's great. Fuck. I know, now she's in this. D- fuck. I know. Oh. That's a real loss. That's how Christianity destroys people. It's just by that. Wait, here's a scene with those it. Fucking here's, roles. A, here's a scene with it. Sorry. For what? Being human? When you got kids, things get messy. Mm-hmm. I have three. See? So you know. You either roll with it or you get rolled on. You mm-hmm. get rolled on, you get flat. Mm-hmm. Um, I ordered a hamburger oh. a half hour ago. <laughs> I don't know why you're talking to my daughter, Wait, but who? since, like, a white lady's just going to yeah. sit there. White ladies are the worst to wait tables on. Uh-huh. Like, they're just going to sit there and be like, um, that's great. Mm-hmm. Clean up the spill. Bring me my food. Yeah. I don't want to know your life philosophy. Uh-huh. Yeah. You got to roll with it or you roll up. Because then you get rolled flat. What the fuck is that supposed <laughs> Dude, to be? If I tried saying that yeah. as a waiter at Dos Caminos, they would have been like, please leave my table. Well, well, imagine, if, imagine if they tried to write <laughs> like a white lady character saying that. It would yeah. seem absurd. Yeah. A white lady goes, hey, you rolled on and rolled <laughs> in. Go, Are you yeah. a gambling addict? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, sometimes you bet against the house and they come to your house. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, I want that song in the story of a gambling addict that just yeah. blows it all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Do well, you want to watch some more of the scene? Uh, or do you get it? Sure. I don't know. I mean, I just kind of want to point out how that trailer was shitty. Oh, no. I loved it. We've been talking fish. We've been talking Christianity. Mm-hmm. I think you're absolutely right, by the way. On the commercial break, yeah. Nick Mullen said that Queen Latifah is definitely an angel. Yeah. She probably turns out to be an angel. Yeah. Where she doesn't, where they go back to the restaurant and she's not there. Uh-huh. They're like, they never worked here. Yeah. She, like, she's been dead for 800 years. Yeah. She's just. <laughs> um, she's actually the slave the restaurant was named after. <laughs> they stole her recipe. The magical you go, slave. You go, that is so dark mm-hmm. and uplifting. Oh my God. She was a slave. Yeah. I mean, I know I probably would have owned them personally. But, but now it's mm-hmm. through a historical lens, mm-hmm. much more heartbreaking. Um, well, I found this story and I was like, this has got Nick Mullen written all over it. Yeah. Or an Oregon woman finds a cougar. What, is a retarded person raped a Chinese guy? No, that oh, was okay. earlier. That was hour one Nick Mullen story. Yeah. Now, hey, I, this it, is right up your alley. Yeah, it's go, an autistic guy that stole a train to rape his mom. Hey, <laughs> uh, I read this article. I said this has got Nicky Moles yeah. all over it. Uh, yeah. No, an Oregon woman found a cougar in her living room and then says telepathy helped her get it out. Damn. Which is pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Um... 
she relied on, she said after she found a, a mountain lion in her living room, mm -hmm. she relied on frequency and attunement. I want to fuck this woman. And feline <laughs> speaking eye. Uh, uh, say no more. I want to have sex with this <laughs> Feline speak eye blinking. I want this insane bitch to hem me up on something. Oh, dude, time. she will. You know she will. That woman that got her face ripped off by the chimp. In and Connecticut? She, she went on TV and... <gasps> I know. Is that, is that Cougar wearing a Steve Harvey suit? <laughs> <laughs> goes, uh, how that's much fucking, did you have a That's if you go if you have a fucking lion in your house. Yes, 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 like dude. Fuck yes. You got a Steve Harvey mountain lion. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck therapy. That's what I need, dude. I just a fucking out. Steve Harvey mountain lion. I think we just figured out what Nick Mullen actually needs. We'll tweet the video out. Yeah. At the bonfire SXM, but this is a. Fuck Th that, this is a Russian dude. Never letting anyone get volume? close to me. I'm getting a Steve Harvey mountain line. Hold on. A year and a half ago, Alexander and Maria decided to adopt a cougar. This is a uh, way for... Yeah. My entire family was irradiated after Chernobyl disaster. <laughs> I, so my son was mutant who grew seven feet tall and had hammers for arms. So being around dangerous creature not new for me. Uh, when we lost our third child uh, due to a uh, more Chernobyl radiation, <laughs> yeah. I said, let's just have a thing that might kill us uh, both. My wife make all her money webcamming and yeah. we have to use giant dildo on her to make money. <laughs> so, so I thought, how do we attract even more attention I have giant cat scratch her pussy and tit off I, I want the sweet cuddle of feline and also the sweet relief of death so I buy a cougar I mean they really this is their like house pet I want to move to Russia do it, do it. Russia go to Russia where everything feels like this where everything feels everything, like everything feel, you don't need to go to therapy in Russia it's always just a, a dark day it's heavy on you everyone's a liar you're all just liars. You just what? fucking lie to everyone all the time. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like this. Your definition of Russia. Yeah. Russia no, immediate. it's just all just fun. Like, just terribly corrupt people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with yeah. Steve Harvey mountain lions lying to each other and <laughs> killing each other in experiments. <laughs> Steve Harvey mountain lions is so much fun. That's a world I can I want understand. A I want a Cedric mountain lion. Also, tracksuits. <laughs> Hell yeah. What about track su suits on a puma? Yeah, track suits on my Steve Harvey puma. <laughs> they also have the hairless Dr. Evil cat in their lap. Oh, <laughs> these guys are fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, how is the mountain lion not eating that Steve Hart, that little hairless cat? I, I also love that. You, oh, here it is. This this is Russia's version of rich people. Yeah, they have like a sectional from 1993 from Rena Center, <laughs> <laughs> and then like we have only house that has all four walls and yeah. and, uh, and piss yellow paisley wallpaper. We've got uh, we got insulation after her yeah. husband became CEO. Uh, last year, my wife made dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, we'll tweet the video out of them washing both of their weird cats. One of them a uh, killing machine and the other one just a fucking hairless freak. Yeah. I guess at any point in time you just have to be prepared to kill it. Together they represent... <laughs> I mean, I, why would you want to live with a pet like that? <laughs> I don't just I said walk around like you know, a moment, dart. <laughs> at any moment I have to take this thing's life. Yeah. I have to be willing and prepared to do it. The two cats represent the duality of existence. One, a frail, weak beast ready to be destroyed and the other, a vicious monster <laughs> that we get too close to because we admire it too much. Have you seen... <laughs> <laughs> have you seen our cat's sickle and hammer? Uh, they are remember Need some good time. Well, Nick Mullen, thank you for guest hosting Thanks on the podcast. Thanks for having me, buddy. Uh, check him out at patreon.com slash cometown, one of the funniest podcasts out there.